By clicking on the soft key representation of the executor fader, you may define the functions of hard keys and faders. Go advances the playback to the next queue using the pre-recorded timing. As expected, Go minus reverses the playback to the previous queue using either the pre-recorded timing or a default time. Pause is used for pausing and then for continuing the execution of the sequence. On reasserts the current queue. Off releases the executor so it's no longer playing back and no longer affects the output of the console. RAID 1 returns the time values of a sequence to its originally programmed values. This is particularly useful in case the RAID fader has been changed. Use the two chevron buttons to skip backwards without time or skip forwards without time. Temp outputs intensity and all other parameters for a sequence as long as the hard key is pressed. Program times and the position of the master fader will be taken into account. Top returns the executor to the first queue in the sequence. Empty means that the hard key will have no function. Flash will output all parameters of a sequence for as long as the hard key is pressed. This function won't be affected by program times or fader positions. Out will reduce the dimmer values to 0% for as long as the hard key is pressed. As described for the flash function, this function won't be affected by program times or fader positions. Toggle is a latching version of temp. Press the hard key once to run the queue in the executor. Press it a second time to turn it off. Fix stops an executor from changing pages until it is pressed a second time. Pages will be addressed in Chapter 10. Swap outputs the contents of the executor while inhibiting all other executors for as long as the hard key is pressed. Swap outputs the contents of the executor while inhibiting all other executors for as long as the hard key is pressed. Load allows you to define which queue will execute next when Go is pressed, allowing you to skip over queues that are not required. The different options for faders are defined the same way as options for hard keys. Master is a fader that overwrites the intensity level of the fixtures and channels that are programmed inside the sequence. A speed fader slows down or speeds up a chaser. X-Fade, which stands for crossfade, allows you to manually crossfade from one queue to the next. A swept fader will output the contents of one executor and suppress all program dimmer values of the other executors for as long as it is pushed up. Fade controls the amount of crossfade between the queues of a chaser. XFA, which stands for crossfade A, allows you to manually control the levels coming up in the queue. XFB, which stands for crossfade B, allows to manually control the levels going down in the queue. Combined with XFA, across two faders it creates an AB playback that you might find on a conventional console. M fade, which stands for master fade, controls the incoming fade time for a chaser. The temp fader will output the contents of one executor for as long as the fader is pushed up. This enables you to output LTP values. Empty will make the fader become inactive. The two default executor soft keys are used for loading and saving default executor layouts. The apply to all executor soft key will take your current settings for this executor and apply them to all executors of the same width and playback type. For example, if you are working on a one fader wide executor that is being used as a chaser, then Pressing the Apply to All Executor soft key will make all one fader wide executors used to control a chaser have the same hard key layout as your current executor. The Auto Start and Auto Stop options delegate the on off switching of an executor to the movement of the master fader. When the fader is moved off zero, the first queue will run. When it is returned to zero, the executor will be turned off. Auto Fix, as the name suggests, will automatically fix an executor that is playing back, so that it is always to hand regardless of the page you are on. Chapter 10 covers more detailed explanation of pages. Swap Protect insulates the current executor from any swap actions by other executors. AB XFade, Split XFade enable an independent AB crossfading or split fading. Normal Trigger Trigger is Go, disables any trigger times or follow triggers. You can then press Go for every cue in the sequence. This is a useful rehearsal and editing tool. 
HTP dimmer, LTP dimmer, changes the precedence of intensity parameters to LTP, which stands for latest takes precedence, where HTP stands for highest takes precedence. For a detailed description, see also basic concepts for newcomers. Tracking, non-tracking disables tracking, so that changes to one queue will not affect later queues. Turning tracking off, however, has major implications for the programming of moving lights. More about, see basic concepts for newcomers. MIB stands for Move in Black. This is a powerful function for presetting fixtures with more parameters than just intensity. MIB always will automatically preset fixtures when their dimmer parameter goes to zero that they are ready for the next time when the dimmer parameter goes above zero. MIB never overrides all the individual MIB settings of the MIB column in the Edit dialog window. Auto Prepause, standing for Auto Preposition, will automatically preset fixtures when a master fader is moved off zero. It is used as a rough version of MIB when working with multiple executors and manually recalling them. A loop can act in two ways. Loops, normal, will advance to the next queue within the rules of the loop. Loops breaking go will advance to the next queue that is outside of the loop, thereby breaking it. To restart options for the executor, define the reaction when go is pressed after an executor has been turned off. The choices are to restart with the first queue in the sequence, to restart with the queue it was in when off was pressed, to restart with the queue after the queue it was in when off was pressed. Because sequences on the GranMA range of consoles cycle around from the last queue to the first queue, there is an issue about what happens to tracked information. For more information on tracking, see basic concepts for newcomers. Track from last queue to first allows tracking information to flow into the first queue in the sequence as if it was the logical next queue. Note that having this option turned on may change how the first queue in the sequence outputs after the first complete cycle. Release from last to first queue will always preserve the look of the first queue in a sequence by turning off all tracked information from the last queue in the sequence. In most cases, this option is far preferable. However, certain chasers may require the last queue to track through into the first queue. Although by default intensity parameters work on a highest takes precedence HTP basis and all other parameters work on a latest takes precedence HTP basis, there are times when lowering or raising the priority of an executor is desirable. By setting a priority level of low, any other executor that is playing back, regardless of its values or when it's less executed, will be able to override it. With the priority level set to high, no other executor, regardless of its values or when it's less executed, will be able to override it. There is only one exception to this rule, another executor running at high priority. As seen before, effects do not leave the effects section of the console. Because they are triggered by queues, issues can arise about what happens when another executor overrides a queue that has triggered an effect. The private effects option defines for this case that the effect will be also overridden and won't play back any longer. If the global effects option is used, only the values of the effect will be overridden, and the effect itself will continue to run. Off on overwritten will turn off the executor as soon as another executor has overridden all its values. Use the default options off key to either return the assigned window to the default options or to save a new set of default options.